Capcom has released some new screenshots of the upcoming Resident Evil 7 DLC, Not a Hero, ahead of the Tokyo Game Show, which takes place this week. Not a Hero sees the return of series regular Chris Redfield and will be released on December 12, which is the same day as Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition. In the screens, we see Redfield stamping on the head of a molded, while another shows a Behink Fetcher actor shot of Redfield in a cave of some sort, and the final screen shows a first-person perspective as the player makes their way up some stairs in the cave area. Not much is given away, but each screenshot maintains the dreary, tense and foreboding atmosphere the series is known for. The Not A Hero DLC begins immediately after the events of Resident Evil 7 and following the culmination of the trials and tribulations of Ethan Winters and his interactions with the horribly disfigured Baker family. Players take on the role of Chris Redfield, who's changed a little from his Resident Evil 5 days and seems to be working for New Umbrella, which doesn't sound ominous in the slightest. The best bit is that Not A Hero will be a free download for owners of Resident Evil 7. Following a number of delays for the Not A Hero DLC, It'll see its release alongside End of Zoe and Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition. The Gold Edition comes with both of the banned footage DLCs, the Chris Redfield-centric Not A Hero DLC and the End of Zoe DLC, which focuses on the fate of Zoe Baker after the events of RE7. The End of Zoe DLC will also be available to purchase separately for £11.99. Capcom has previously said that the end of Zoe will be more substantial than anything seen yet from the DLCs that have been released for Resident Evil 7, but exactly what this will be is currently unclear. Resident Evil 7 is out now on PS4, Xbox One and PC.